An electronic speed control, or simply ESC, is a piece of electronics that's used to drive a brushless electric motor. So if you've ever used one of those motors, you've probably had to use an ESC with it as well. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what exactly one of these ESCs is actually doing. As we discussed in a previous episode, a brushless DC motor really isn't a DC motor at all. It's actually an AC motor, more specifically a three-phase AC motor. But when you combine it with an ESC, an electronic speed control, it behaves almost identically to a DC motor, which is why people call it a brushless DC motor. So an ESC is really just a very compact three-phase inverter that creates three-phase AC power from a DC source, like a battery, for instance. Unlike AC power from a power outlet, brushless motors are often driven with square wave AC power rather than pure sine wave AC power because it tends to work well enough and it makes the electronics inside the ESC quite a bit simpler and cheaper. So then the question is, how does an ESC produce three-phase AC from a DC source like a battery? Well, it does it using a very simple, very well-known circuit called an H-bridge. Now, it's, it's actually called an H-bridge because the single-phase version of this circuit looks like the letter H, uh, but for today's video, we're more interested in the three-phase version of the H-bridge, which doesn't look like an H at all. So it looks like this. So it's a circuit that consists of six switches, okay? So on the left side, we've got two wires, positive and negative, coming in from a DC power source, such as a battery. And on the right side, we've got three wires going out of it, which are the three phases of our AC output. By operating these switches, we can connect each one of these phases to either the positive side of the battery, or the negative side of the battery, or to nothing at all, leaving it neutral. This means that if we operate these switches in the correct order, we can create the three-phase waveform that we looked at earlier on in this video. So this is how the ESC is able to create this square wave three-phase AC from a DC power source like a battery. But there is one problem with this, which is that this switching needs to happen really fast, particularly if the motor is spinning at a high speed. And mechanical switches would be way too slow to do this switching. So instead of using mechanical switches or relays or something like that, the ESC uses transistors to do the switching, more specifically MOSFETs. So this is an ESC that I've opened up so we can have a look inside. And as you can see, it is basically a PCB covered in MOSFETs. All right, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. As you can see, it's just a circuit board completely full of these switching transistors. So instead of using physical switches, it uses transistors to do it, but the principle is the same. So now that we know how the ESC produces the three phase power required to run the motor, the next question is how does the ESC actually control the power output of the electric motor? In other words, how do we control the throttle? This is done by the ESC by switching the power on and off very rapidly. So essentially by chopping up this waveform into even smaller pieces. Let's take a look at an example. This is what the waveform looks like when the motor is at full power. So when the ESC is applying full throttle. So that means a single phase waveform looks like this. If the ESC would be applying, let's say, about 50% power, 50% throttle, the waveform is going to look like this. And with even less power, it might look something like this. So on top of the switching that it already does to create that waveform shape, it does even more, even quicker switching, so it chops up that waveform even more to control the power that goes to the electric motor. So that's how the ESC controls the power output or the throttle of the electric motor. But then there is one final very important thing that we haven't looked at just yet. And this is frequency. And the reason the frequency of the AC power going to the motor is so important 
is because a brushless motor is a synchronous motor. And this means that the rotation of the motor, the rotational speed of the motor, has to be perfectly synchronized to the frequency of the power going into it. So at a higher speed, the frequency will be higher, and at a lower, a lower speed, the frequency of that AC power will be lower. And the frequency has to be exactly right, perfectly matched to the speed of the motor, and otherwise it's not going to work. That's why it's called a synchronous motor. The moment the frequency isn't perfectly matched to the actual speed of the motor, it completely stops working, and that's what we call stalling. It's not what you want, right? It's a bad thing. So this means that the ESC needs to adjust the frequency of the output according to the speed of the motor. So it's constantly adapting, modifying its output frequency to match the speed of the motor. Which leaves us with one last question, which is how does the ESC know the speed of the motor? There are two ways of doing this. There are so-called censored ESCs, and there are sensorless ESCs. Censored ESCs use sensors that are on the electric motor, and these sensors are actually monitoring the rotation of the motor and reporting it to the ESC through their own wires. So with this type of system, you, you have three power wires going to the motor, but you also have a bunch of extra wires to connect to your sensors. A sensorless ESC doesn't use sensors. So what it does is it, it's detecting the so-called back EMF produced by the motor, which is basically the voltage that the motor generates as it spins. And by measuring the, the time between the pulses of back EMF, this ESC is able to determine the rotation of the motor. And because the back EMF, of course, is applied to the power lines, you don't need any extra wires for this. Sensored systems can work quite a bit better than sensorless systems, particularly at very low speeds. But then, of course, that does mean you need this extra wiring, you need those sensors on the electric motor, and these ESCs tend to be a bit more expensive as well. So there you go, that's a whole bunch of information on uh, electronic speed controls, or at least the kind of electronic speed control that is, uh, that is used for a brushless DC motor. Uh, there is, of course, way more information out there, but this video is probably getting quite long already, so this is going to be it for now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.